reduce my expected family contribution. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. The expected family contribution can be up to one third of a family's annual income. So for a family who earns approximately $120,000 a year, it's common to see an expected family contribution of $40,000 for the year. Colleges use this expected family contribution to put together financial aid offers. They take their total cost of attendance, subtract the EFC, and they come up with a student's financial need. They then try to package that student with as much need-based aid as possible to meet that financial need. So the EFC is not necessarily the bottom line. In some cases, it's approximately what you will owe to the college for the year, while in others, you will not owe quite that much or you may owe even more. It depends on how well endowed the colleges are and how much financial aid they have to offer. So in terms of reducing your EFC, there are several ways that this could possibly happen. When you fill out the 22-23 FAFSA, it's based on 2020 income. I often get families calling me asking, well, what if my 2021 income has changed? Or what if I recently got divorced? Or maybe there's some other financial circumstance that applies to them that is not accurately reflected on the FAFSA form. These would be considered special circumstances. Every college financial aid office recognizes special circumstances and can actually use this information to recalculate the EFC. For example, let's say you lost a job in 2021, so your 2021 income is going to be significantly less than 2020. The financial aid office can actually use your 2021 income in place of your 2020. Some common special circumstances that financial aid offices will consider include a reduction in income, a job loss, an elderly parent that you're caring for, significant medical or dental expenses, or some other financial circumstances that are unique, such as a one-time retirement distribution you may have taken in 2020 that inflated your adjusted gross income, or the sale of a land or home or something that also inflated that adjusted gross income. It's very important if any of these situations apply to you that you report this information directly to the financial aid office at each college that you have been admitted to. So there's some confusion around this because you fill out the FAFSA, send it to the government. So a lot of people think they need to notify the government about these special circumstances, but that's not the case. Once the student is admitted at the college, that is the time when you should contact the financial aid office and let them know about any special circumstances that apply to your family. They will then send you what's called a special circumstances form and ask you to report this new information. They will then use this new information to recalculate your expected family contribution and it can make a really big difference in your financial aid offer. If you have a reduced income for 2021 and you report that to the financial aid office, that is likely going to reduce your EFC, along with any of those other special circumstances that I mentioned. Now, keep in mind, you'll have to do this with every financial aid office of each college that you're admitted to. So it is a little bit of a process, but it is certainly worth it. I've seen so many families miss this and just think because the form was asking for the 2020 income that there was nothing they could do. But that is not the case, and I don't want to see you make that mistake. So in terms of how to reduce your EFC, if you have any special circumstances that apply to you and your family, notify the financial aid offices after you're admitted and they can use this new information to recalculate your expected family contribution. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about the programs and services I provide, be sure to visit my website, thefafsaguru.com. I offer a free initial 10 minute discovery call for anyone, which you can book directly through my website. Thank you.